Japan Zoo murders 57 snow monkeys due to alien genes. Or is it mutations from Fukushima meltdowns that they are hiding? Hear that, Charlie? Shinzo Abe wants me dead. I know too much about the radiation from Fukushima. The monkeys in the Fukushima prefecture, they can't see the evil radiation around them. They can't speak of the evil radiation melting the DNA inside of their bodies. And no one outside of Fukushima can hear their screams. They have been given a death penalty for being victims of the nuclear fallout. The euthanized monkeys were evidence of the worst disaster humanity has ever faced. A zoo in northern Japan has killed 57 of its snow monkeys. I have a map of the zoo. It's called the Takagoyama Natural Zoo. It's right below Tokyo Bay. So it's about an extra 20 miles away from Fukushima Prefecture. So it's give or take about 100 to about 150 miles from the Fukushima Prefecture. A zoo in northern Japan has killed 57 of its snow monkeys by lethal injection after discovering what they call a gene, an invasive alien species. Takigoyama Natural Zoo in Chiba said DNA testing showed the monkeys had been crossbred with the racist macaque. This zoo is south east of Tokyo and I believe these monkeys were silenced because they had mutations from Fukushima. Clearly not a good sign for the people of Tokyo when a zoo south of you is murdering monkeys to cover up evidence. They have been given the death penalty for being victims of the nuclear fallout. The euthanized monkeys were evidence of the worst disaster humanity has ever faced. As these macaques are closely related to humans and are often used in experiments. So why kill the monkeys Japan? I'm sure some other zoo outside of Japan would like to take these monkeys in. Or are you scared of the foreigners finding out how badly contaminated these monkeys are with Fukushima radiation? The non-ingenious racist macaque is banned under Japanese law, a local official said. They have to be killed to protect the native environment. The zoo's operator held a memorial service for the snow monkey's souls at a nearby Buddhist temple. Japanese macaques, commonly known as snow monkeys, are native to Japan and are one of the country's major tourist attractions. Japan prohibits possessions and transport of invasive species, including crossbreeds. <laughs> but if it doesn't affect their environment, why would they care even if it has some DNA from another hybrid? It just doesn't make sense. To me, it just smells, reeks of a cover-up. I mean, there's, there's tons of reports from just the last couple years that they were actually putting to sleep these Fukushima monkeys a long time ago. They were finding concentrations of 300,000 becquerels where these monkeys were at uh, just traveling within a meter, square meter, 300,000 becquerels. And they were testing their blood tissue in order in order to get muscle samples. They would actually kill these monkeys. Blood samples, and maybe they were letting some of those guys go. But just from a perspective, a scientific point of view, it would make sense to keep these monkeys alive so you can find out what is going to happen in the future with the citizens of Japan. An official from the Office for Alien Species Management, part of the country's environment ministry, told local media that the killing was unavoidable because there were fears they might escape and reproduce in the wild. 
A spokesman for the conservation group WF Japan told AFP News Agency that invasive species cause problems because they get mixed in with ingenious animals and threaten the natural environment and ecosystem. They're forgetting about the four trillion pound gorilla of Fukushima. But let's just kill these macaques because they might have some low blood counts and mutated DNA and we can't let anybody see that. The hematological changes in the Fukushima monkeys might likely be the result of exposure to some form of radioactive material. But only radio cesium concentrations were measured in the study. So they would find 300,000 becquerels of just cesium alone. So the radio cesium concentrations of monkeys captured in areas with soil contamination levels between 100,000 and 300,000 becquerels per meter. Small head size and delayed body weight growth in wild Japanese monkey feces after the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear disaster. They're finding some of these mutations of the babies, mutated heads. Maybe you got a three-headed monkey. Significantly lower in feces conceived after the disaster. Head size. Human species is going in reverse. You get a smaller head, eventually you're, you're like just an embryo that doesn't even form. Wild Japanese monkeys near the Fukushima nuclear power plant have lower blood cell counts than similar monkeys who live almost 200 miles away. So you see how they're saying 200 miles away? And this zoo is less than 200 miles from the Fukushima Daiichi. So it kind of makes sense. Researchers tested Japanese macaques capturing killing forests about 40 miles from the power plant and compared the results to macaques in Shimitoka Peninsula. You notice they say they killed them in a forest about 40 miles from the power plant. So it's just more evidence that they're trying to kill the macaques because they're what's the future of mankind is going to look like. They're going to be deformed, small heads. Can't have anybody see that. Japanese monkeys abnormal blood link to Fukushima disaster study. Primates in Fukushima region found to have low white and red blood cell levels and radioactive cesium. Blood abnormalities. Linked to the fallout of 2011. Professor Shinichi Hayama at the Nippon Veterinary and Life Science University of Tokyo told The Guardian that during Japan's snowy winters, the monkeys feed on tree buds and bark, where cesium has been shown to accumulate at high concentration. The first data from non-human primates, the closest taxonomic relatives of humans should make a notable contribution to future research on the health effects of radiation exposure in humans. The work which ruled out disease and malnutrition as a cause of low blood counts. So white blood cell counts were lowest for immature monkeys with the highest CCM concentrations. So they were probably getting this from the mother's breast milk concentrated and they had weak immune systems and so any other little disease could come along and just wipe that out and it will get blamed for something else, just like with humans. Common cold, dying from the common cold. It's not my fault. I did nothing wrong. 
I do not harm the environment like you. Stop comparing me, humans, to you. I have never heard nothing. While you destroy everything. Thank you.